In this tutorial, we are going to configure a Multiranger 200 and Echomex XRS5 transducer to monitor the flow rate of water flowing over a V-notch weir. The first step is to ensure that the Multiranger parameters have been reset to their factory values. When turned on, the Multiranger displays off, dash, 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 dash. This indicates that all the parameters are currently set to their factory values. We are now ready to configure the parameters for our open channel flow application. Press the mode key, then the next display key twice. P dash 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 appears in the parameter number field. The first parameter to configure is parameter number one. Enter 0, 0, 1. Parameter 1 sets the type of measurement for our application. As you can see, this parameter currently has a value of 3 for distance measurement. Since we are using our multi-ranger system to monitor the flow rate in an open channel, we will change this value to 6. Enter 6 followed by the Enter key. The operation mode is now set to open channel monitoring. The multi-ranger we are using is a dual point model. However, in this application, we only want to monitor the flow rate in one open channel. Therefore, we need to ensure that point number two is turned off. To do this, press the next display key three times or until dash dash appears in the index number field. Press the up arrow key twice until the index number field shows 0, 2. Press the 0 key followed by the enter key to set point number 2 to the out of service operation setting. Press the next display key dash dash will appear in the index number field. Press the down arrow key to return to the point number one setting. This will ensure that we only configure point number one with our application information. Press the next display key twice or until p dash 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 appears in the parameter number field. Use the up arrow key to go to parameter number 2. This parameter optimizes the multi-ranger for measuring either liquids or solids. The factory default value is liquids. We are going to leave it at this value. Use the up arrow key to go to parameter number 3. Parameter number 3 is used to match the response of the multi-ranger to the changing liquid level within the open channel. The factory default value is 2, a medium rate of change. This value is suitable for our application. Press the up arrow key to go to parameter number 4. Parameter 4 optimizes the multi-ranger for the specified transducer input. The input can be either a transducer or a milliamp input source. In our application, we are going to use an Echomax XRS5 transducer. The XRS5 transducer has a numeric value of 112. Enter 112 followed by the Enter key to set parameter number 4 to this value. Press the up arrow key to go to parameter number 5. Parameter 5 sets the units of measure for all dimensional values. The factory default for this parameter is meters. Since this is the unit of measure preferred for this application, we will leave it set to the factory default value. Use the up arrow key to go to parameter number 6. Parameter 6 is the empty distance value. For our application, this distance is measured from the transducer face to the bottom of the V notch. This distance is 0 0.9 meters. Enter 0 decimal 9 
followed by the Enter key to set this value. Press the up arrow key to go to parameter number 7. Parameter 7 is the span setting. The span is the distance from the bottom of the V-notch to the highest liquid level. Under normal operating conditions, the highest liquid level would be to the top of the V-notch. In our example, the V-notch is 0.3 meters high, so our span will also be 0.3 meters. Enter 0, decimal, 3, followed by the Enter key to set this value. The basic operation parameters have been entered into the multiranger. Now we will configure the open channel monitoring parameters. Press the next display key until P dash 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 appears in the parameter number field. Enter 600. Zero, zero. Parameter 600 sets the primary measuring device for our application. Typically, the primary measuring device is a pre-manufactured flume or weir that is installed in an open channel. Each primary measuring device has an equation that converts a level indicator reading to a flow rate value. The equations for the most common primary measuring devices are pre-programmed into the multiranger. You simply select the primary measuring device type. Then enter a few dimensional units and the multiranger will accurately measure the flow rate. For example, we will enter 7, the value for a thin plate V-notch weir and press the enter key to set this value. We now have to enter the dimensional unit of our V-notch weir. Press the up arrow key to go to parameter 602. The dimensional unit we will set for this parameter is the notch angle. In our example, we are using a 90 degree V-notch weir. We enter 9, 0, followed by the enter key to set this value. Use the up arrow key to go to the next parameter. Parameter 603 is the maximum head value. For our example, we are going to set the maximum head value to be the same value that we used for our span, 0.3 meters. Enter 0, decimal 3, followed by the Enter key to set this value. Press the up arrow key to go to the next parameter. Parameter 604 is the maximum flow value. This parameter is not typically used with V-notch weirs and can be left at the factory value. Press the up arrow key to go to parameter 605. Parameter 605 is the zero head setting. For our application, we will leave this parameter set at the factory value. Use the up arrow key to go to the next parameter. Parameter 606 is the time units setting. This parameter is not used with V-notch weirs and can be left set to the factory value. Press the up arrow key to go to the next parameter. Parameter 607, the flow rate decimal setting, is used to set the number of digits that will appear after the decimal point for the displayed flow rate value. In our application example, the flow rate values will be small numbers, so we will use the factory value of two digits following the decimal place. Use the up arrow key to go to parameter 608. This parameter sets the units of measure for the flow rate. In our example, we would like to have the multi-ranger display the instantaneous flow rate value in liters per second. To set this value, enter 1 followed by the enter key. This completes the basic configuration for an open channel flow monitoring application. The final step is to put the multiranger back into run mode. Press the mode key. The multiranger will now continuously monitor the flow rate and display the flow rate value in liters per second.